pictures are known for being quite flattering. I look up to people, I idolize people, I turn them hopefully into iconic images. We last caught up with celebrity photographer and Andy Warhol protege Matthew Ralston 11 years ago on the set of a music video he was directing for En Vogue. Although he was certainly known for his work back then, today Ralston is considered one of the leading directors and photographers of his generation. We decided to reconnect with the photographer and tagged along on his assignment for the day, a whirlwind photo shoot with Janet Jackson. But our first stop was Ralston's Beverly Hills office to take a look at the latest proofs for his new book of celebrity portraits. never do anything the same way twice, but yet it's still me. So there are some things, there are, there is an element of glamour and beauty that I'm always attracted to. There's also an element of humor, kind of a dark humor, and I like things that are just a little bit gory in a funny way, like that image of Jack Nicholson licking the blood off of his fingers. You know, it's just, I find that amusing. Morning, AJ. How are you? Ralston's new book, entitled Beauty Light, Pictures at a Magazine, features iconic portraits of some of the world's most famous faces, from Angelina Jolie to Oprah. This is the book. I always knew it was going to be the cover image because so much of my work involves women. And I like this picture because I think it has some layers of meaning about what it is to be a woman. A very Elvis, Elvisy picture of uh, Celine Dion. This is Anthony Kiedis that I shot for Rolling Stone. There was something I wanted to evoke about Anthony there, so he was willing to play. Ironically, our day in the life with Ralston coincided with his very own day in the life shoot with Janet Jackson. The two were collaborating on a book for her North American tour. Janet had a nice concept for this. It's her idea, really. That she wanted to have me shoot her as if it was a documentary series of pictures, a day in the life of Janet Jackson. Morning. Good morning. How are you? So we're definitely gonna start in the bedroom series, and I'll come in and give you notes in a second. We're trying to create an illusion of Janet's personal lifestyle. We weren't able to shoot at her own home because it's under construction. So we rented this beautiful place. And we wanted to stock the closet with some of her own actual clothing. I mean, her collection is incredible. And her style is incredible. Guys don't get to have fun like girls do. <laughs> Look at that heel. How much would I like to be this much taller? Right now, an hour and a half behind. It's 12.30. That's not good. She's not going to come out until she feels like she's ready. And in my experience, it's worth waiting for. OK, here we go. When you're ready, I'm ready. You go. OK, let me see it. Hold on. <laughs> you got to see this. It's good. Do you like it? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I've known Matthew for a very long time. The first time we ever worked together was almost almost 20 years ago for uh, my Rhythm Nation tour. He did the tour book, and that's when we first met, which was 1990, I believe. That was the first time we ever worked together. We've already got a great one, so we'll do a little bit more and move on. Okay. Okay, I'm ready when you are, lady. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? for me makes a great portrait is the look in the eye. There's a certain gaze that happens in a great photograph of another person that's unforgettable. It locks you in, it tells you something, it might tell you secrets or mysteries, but it's intriguing. Janet, put your right foot in front so that you look like you're stepping. The other way, sweetie. Yeah. The other way, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at her, she's just gorgeous. He's just brilliant. 
he knows what he's doing. He's he's been at it forever. He's 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 such a genius at what he does. And I wanted to, to feel I wanted it to feel more reportage, like a a day in my life. So I I had to put it in someone's hands who I felt I could truly trust, and that's Matthew. It's looking good. A few more of these, and we'll move on to the next deal. I work so much. I really live in the moment, and I don't dwell on what I've already done much. I love it. They're all my babies. And then I send them off into the world, and I'm on to the next. We're going to go back to the kitchen, back to the natural mouth. And uh, it's taking me at least half an hour to light that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Second. Thank you.